Research has shown that a sense of gratitude has a positive impact on our mood and ultimately our health. Dr. Riaz Muthara is a leading cardiologist who is passionate about preventative medicine and Kriya chatted to him about his approach to life, health and happiness and the heart. When it comes to looking after your heart, it's always better to be proactive. And Dr. Riaz Matara believes that it's not only medicine, but also the will to change your own DNA. Dr. Matara brings passion, innovation and creativity to his practice. And his holistic approach means that he does not focus on the heart alone. He sees the body as an interactive system in which the emotions and outlook on life can affect physical wellness. Dr. Matara, nice to meet you, sir. Good morning, Kriya, and welcome. This is an absolutely amazing space. Tell me a little bit more about it. The sanctuary was built about two years ago, and it was really about creating a healing space for my patients to come through, and also to create an inspiring environment in which I could work. It's not just your medical practice that you have here. We run my clinical practice downstairs, and if you'd like to follow me, I can show you what we have upstairs. I'd love to. So Priya, this is our innovation space where all the innovation happens around all the digital technologies that we're busy creating. What are these technologies that you are creating? About four years ago, I realized I could really only manage to treat between 10 and 12 patients a day. The idea started that how do I treat a million people a day without me having to really see these patients and to give people access in remote areas to good quality health care. So patients have access to an app, they get a Bluetooth enabled blood pressure cuff and they could monitor their blood pressure anywhere in the country and I'm able to have a look at those blood pressure readings. And in case of a medical emergency, like in a heart attack or stroke, we're able to dispatch an emergency unit to pick them up, take them to their nearest hospital to try and prevent that heart attack and stroke. It's not there to replace doctors, but rather to augment the patient experience in terms of monitoring themselves at home to try and get their blood pressure under control. Let me show you the wonderful gardens. Priya, part of the inspiration for creating this beautiful space, as a specialist cardiologist, we work in hospitals, which is really a sick environment. Mm -hmm. And I needed to be in a space that really is a healing environment, not just for my patients, but equally for myself. So when it comes to health practice for you, it's not all about just medicine, but rather a holistic approach to it. As doctors and as specialists, we were trained to either treat your heart or treat your lung or treat a kidney. But our bodies don't function like that. Everything is interrelated and interconnected. Treating you holistically means that I understand what's happening in your social life, what your diet or your nutrition looks like, what your emotional stresses are, where do you work, and how do these factors influence our genetics and our endocrine or hormonal system to then create a dis-ease in our body. Why is it that there are so many young people that are suffering from chronic lifestyle diseases? It's really a fine interplay between what we get exposed to in our environment and our genetics. So to understand it simply, if you unraveled a piece of DNA, then there's 2,000 light switches on the outside of this gene. If you were eating lots of fast food, you would be switching on light switches in our DNA that would increase the risk of heart disease. In the same vein, you could be sitting in front of a beautiful mountain and having a really wonderful moment and that could be switching on positive light switches that make you healthy. How do we go about treating this? So one is to eat an anti-inflammatory diet. Have more ginger and have more garlic and have more turmeric and having more omega-3. The second big pillar would be to exercise in moderation and really exercises such as yoga has been shown to reduce this inflammation and reduce the likelihood that we develop chronic lifestyle diseases. The third component is to adopt mindfulness as part of a practice on a daily basis in your life to help reduce the stress within our body. It's really about getting to a point of acceptance and gratitude for everything that we have in our lives. It's the sense of lack 
or fear or attachment in our life for many people that also creates the illness or the what we call the dis-ease in our life. Love and interaction also has a direct effect on heart disease. Aristotle believes that the mind actually lived within the heart. So when you fall in love and you have that warm fuzzy feeling, nobody can really show you where you feel that. And there's been a number of studies to show that people who have love and connection in their life have lower levels of inflammation and have a lower level of things like heart attacks. So it creates getting a little hot in the sun. Why don't you join me for a cup of tea? I think that is a great idea. You've now created a clinic specifically for women. Tell me a bit about it. One in four women die from a heart attack. Women usually present much later when the disease is much more severe and then they have more complications as a consequence of having a heart attack. So it's important that both doctors and patients realize that it's not just a problem of men suffering with heart attacks, but that women also suffer with heart disease too. What inspires you to keep going? Rather than coming from a point of lack, is have the gratitude for what I do have, all the blessings in my life, and come from a point of uh, inspiration to give more and more in my special way to the people that I meet. Well, thank you so much for spending time with me today. Thank you so much, Kriya, for having me on your show. It was definitely a heartfelt day, and it goes to show that giving someone a little love can improve their health.